We're here back at camp and, um, well, I think maybe I want to ask something to Stan just one moment. Yes. Well, you were talking about your cage with Alistair earlier, so what were you doing in there, really? Sitting, as you observed. Yeah, uh... That's not what I really meant. I mean, you were citing, reciting the cune or something, chanting. It's what you asked. Wow, you don't really want to talk about this. Maybe he doesn't have any line about this and I'm wrong. Why, why don't you just tell me? I did. Parshera. Was there anything else? And you weren't sitting, you were standing anyway. <laughs> oh well, fine. As you wish. I swear he was reciting the cune or something. So, we just got out of uh, Radcliffe and now I've sold some things uh, and uh, I think we might want to go back to Lothering if it's still if it's still there. Maybe if Darkspawn has not attacked and destroy everything, destroyed everything. I think it might be still there because because we did nothing major in the main story, and I think that's the target for the invasion. Let's go to Lothering because. We have a quest that we really need to finish. It's better if we don't bring Stan and, uh, well, maybe we could bring Morrigan. Mm -hmm. We could bring yes. Alistair and maybe Zevran. Yes. Uh oh. What is this about? Okay, so we just saw Radcliffe being attacked by whatever it is that is attacking it during the night and um, we are here in uh, a random event with dusk Darkspawn attacking us. Yes. It's full of traps here. Guys, uh, can you stay back? And Mira. Oh god, this is dangerous. Zavran, can you please get rid of this before somebody. Oh, y there we go. Poor Morrigan. guys you can do it let's see if I can help you a little bit Alistair we need to be careful the way we move you trigger the trap, Alistair. Yes. Morrigan, come Close. here. Take that. <laughs> nice try. Now this should be fun. 
You're done? Well, this is a... <sighs> All right, Morrigan, you leveled up. This looks almost like the field of uh, that uh, merchant in Lodering. I never remember his name. Um, the one that starts on with it. B. And it seems like he put traps in his land for real. Unfortunately, the only one who stepped into them were we. <laughs> How fun. Hmm. It's good for her to have some strength and dexterity as well. It's good for balance. But uh, let's keep going slowly. Hexes. I think this will be useful for her. She will be mostly aggressive. I don't think I will give her anything. She can protect herself with that close range. I wanna... I know it's risky, but uh, I wanna try to do it like this. Maybe it will work, maybe it won't. We can always give her Mind Blast whenever, at some point. So, I think... I remember I read in uh, my journal, I gave a little bit of a... I checked my journal to see uh, what I have to do and I read it uh, calmly without wasting any recording time. And I have this pattern glitch in Lodering for uh, uh, the Blackstone Irregulars and uh, we have to conscript conscript him, but I absolutely don't remember who this guy is. So let's try and find him, shall we? Where could he be? Maybe at the tavern. Well, we... you know what, perfect, because I want to go in the tavern and see if the merchant that's right there has any gifts that I can buy. Yeah. So why don't their mages just whip up a spell and make those darkspawn go away? Because they're damned useless, that's <laughs> why. Going. I don't suppose mages would just do it like that. Otherwise, we would already have solved the problem, wouldn't we? So, we need to search for a guy that actually has a name. Is not here. Oh God. I still don't have food to sell. Yeah, we got. Uh, I think we happened to cross uh, your land, and uh, I think we sprung all your, sprung all your traps. <laughs> God. Oh, I'm gonna sell you this couple of things. A mild lure. Let me see what gifts do you have, if you have any. A shiny gold ring, which I'm taking, the ale, yeah. Amulet of a cord. Oh, this is interesting and useful. Maybe I will, I will buy it. Might be my last chance, <laughs> let's see. Mira just dumped this here to him she genuinely doesn't care about that she still feels sorry for Ser what was his name i don't remember his name oh come on it's a couple of days i'm having this <laughs> amnesia or something what could i get you there Tell me something. I hear that Tian Logain 
the regent, is calling for new levies of troops. He wants to rebuild the army we lost at Astagar. <laughs> Thing is, there's not a lot of spare men to be found. Out of Dragon's Peak, there's press gangs roaming around, grabbing any free man they can lay their hands on. Anything else I can get you? That's a weird situation. Luck speed your way. <sighs> Hmm, it's Evran. Do you want Make to quick. inspect Honest. this chest? Yeah. Nothing really. What was his name? I'll have no fighting in my kitchen. Okay. I got it, I got it. to be done what can we do just keep your head down that's what and your wits about you it's like when i tried to remember the word helpful refugee the word talva shows and it just backfired so those uh, designs you have all over your back they're called tattoos and I have them in many more places than just on my back, my friend. Uh, right. I hear that someone gets those by having needles put the ink under your skin. A great many needles, amongst other things, yes. That would be true. Didn't that hurt? Oh, yes, yes. But it is not so bad, in truth. If you like, I could give you one. I learned a bit of the art myself in Antiva. Oh, no. No, I don't think so. Come, it will just be a small one. Perhaps uh, the symbol of the Grey Wardens. Something manly. Where are my needles? Um, maybe some other time. I'm, I'm going to go stand over here now. <laughs> Where would this man be? It's in Lothering, right? Would he be... in the Chantry? One of these people? Oh, look. Oh, a dog. Oh, it's actually alive. I've never noticed it before. Him, her. The dog. You? <sighs> He must be around here, I... Uh, yes, there he is. Yes? What can I do for you? I'm here on behalf of the Black Story regulars. I knew this time would come. I should have listened to my sister. Sure, sign the paper, she said. You'll enjoy some coin now, but they'll be back. I guess I'll see you on the front lines. <laughs> oh well. Zebran, would you be able to open that? Oh no. A key is required. Exactly as I thought it would be. Oh well, we've done what we came here for and now, well, Um, since we have left Redcliffe, actually since we have left Lothering the first time, Mira has been uh, concerned for the situation at the tower, I think, that uh, the rumor she heard out of the tavern actually got to her and now she's worried because Cullen is still in there and... Uh, well, they have to ask for the aid of the mages too, so they might want to go there anyway. The stories we hear down here about the crows, they're not true, are they? 
They all sound a little far-fetched. I cannot say. What have you heard? In Antiva, we hear that Ferelden men cannot sleep without a dog in their bed. Is that true? A dog? No, of course not. We value our dogs. It's part of our history. Oh, perhaps it was simply a reference to your Ferelden women, then. <laughs> well, now that you mention it... But those stories you heard? All true. Really? Even the ones that talk about how you all... You know, get paid to... Especially those ones. Wow, I am totally in the wrong order. Oh, you guys. By the way, Alistair said that he doesn't like dogs in particular. Mira doesn't like dogs either. So, and they're both Ferelden. Ferelden, both of them, so... <laughs> I don't know, we are not the best example around here, are we? The Eternal Sunset. So I'm going to go to camp for a quick stop. And I'm gonna swap Morrigan with the Sten. Because Mira has finally made up her mind and she wants to go back to the circle and... Uh, the mages are on the treaties, so they are going to go there on business. And she's gonna check the situation and see if uh, the voices and the rumors are true. Yes, I'm sure. Actually, I could swap my party right there. There we go. I forgot that you can swap your party uh, everywhere the icon is active. Yes. 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 There we go. Okay, we're going. Hey, something's happening. Oh, wow. Oh, hello. And I'm off. Hello. You have coin, stranger? The doors of Mar closed off. Old Tegrin can give you a discount. Fine weapon and arms, dwarven made. Orzammar is closed off. There's two things I'm here for: travel or trade. Understand? Okay, fine. Show me. Ah, uh, yeah, these uh, tomes are useful. You want to buy them eventually. Temperament. Dwarven heavy armor. Dwarven armor. Oh, the armor of the dwarves are the best looking ones. <laughs> now let's buy all the gifts you have in here. I don't really need these things. Right. Mira is well equipped. Plus one spirit's resistance is so meager, but... Hmm. Yeah, no, you're not gonna wear this. I think Zevran should wear that. Hmm. Yeah, still better than the 10% fire resistance, because he will be able to be on the front line and... Uh, being noticed less, maybe. You don't have a helmet? You've never had an helmet? Really? Oh god. Hmm. Oh well. Next time we find them. So okay, this guy is just a simple merchant. We were lucky to meet him, and probably we'll meet him again. Sometime. Alright, here we go. So this area has a beautiful music and a fantastic atmosphere. 
Hello. Oh, death root. Just some random death root. All right. Mm -hmm. More death root. Yes. Everything seems all right in here, except for the Templars standing right there. And those weird people. What is happening here? Hmm. Ooh, some at the desert. Is this more Blackstone Irregulars stuff? What business would the mighty Grey Wardens have with a man like me? Well, I'm here on behalf of the Blackstone Irregulars. Oh? What is this about? Well, apparently, you deserted? Oh, I see. Tauren must have sent you. I refuse to answer to a pawn of Tauren. Tauren? Come, men! To arms! Roar! You're doing good right there. Stan, be careful. Stan seems to be the one that's attracting... Uh, Did he die? Oh, finally. Stan seems to be the one that attracts more. I, it might be because of one of his powers. Yeah. I need to give that power to Alistair too. Dagger. It shall be as you say. Of course. <laughs> the guild supplies. A pack of supplies belonging to the Blackstone Irregulars. Oh, so he also stole some. Great. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that's not relevant for any of the companions we have. It is relevant for one that we left behind. As you wish. It's a pretty funny thing. Alright, and here we have another two shady figures just standing right there. What about you? Well, look at this. I remember taking your cross when you left with that fella Duncan. And now you're a Grey Warden. My pap used to tell me stories about them. Oh! Caster, why aren't you manning the boat? Templars took the boat. Well, why would they? I don't got a clue. They wouldn't tell me. Gregor just came down and said, Don't you worry, Kester. We got it all under control, we do. Didn't say nothing else. And then he puts Carol in charge of my boat. Carol? Lizzie, named for my grandmum she was. Really? Carol is... <sighs> He's a weird one. That's actually the least you can say about him. Is something wrong in the tower? I told you, they didn't tell me nothing. And if I know they're mages, I'm better off keeping out of their business. If I had to guess, I'd guess it had to do with magic. But the tower's always got something to do with magic. So there is something going on. It's impossible. I have to get there. I'm in unofficial business. Don't look at me. I told you I'm not the ferryman no more. Gregor's told me to stay here till it blows over. But I'm telling you, some storms don't blow over easy. Blows over? I have to find out what's going on. Well, you go on ahead. Gregor tells me to stay here. I stay here. I reckon the fellow knows what he's talking about. <laughs> Hmm. 
Well, I should go. You go on ahead, then. They were nice talking to you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now Mira is officially... ...preoccupied. And anxious. But... Let's try to act calmly. You're the Grey Warden, aren't you? Exactly who I was hoping to meet. I represent a collective of mages interested in going about their lives without the constant scrutiny of the Chantry. Oh, so you're a collective of libertarians, aren't you? Oh, so there are mages outside of the tower that are actually organized. Tell me more. The collective is a self-policing guild of mages who simply want to be left alone. We mean no offense to the Chantry. But we would rather live on our own terms. Next to me, and in every major settlement, you will find an inconspicuous sack containing requests from mages all over the land who need the assistance of someone skillful and discreet. I will definitely, definitely take a look at uh, your requests. Maybe I can learn something. Thank you, my friend. We have agents in every major settlement to reward you for work done on behalf of the Collective. Make us smile upon you. Yeah, Mira would never talk about them to the Templars. She would actually help them and hope to gain something. Uh, that's interesting. They are the libertarian dream, basically, those people. Let's see if they know something in the inn. Completely blocked. Oh wow. <laughs> this place is cheery. As you like. Oh, these love letters are part of a quest. I think a collector will ask them. Uh, will ask to buy them at some point, but I don't remember really where and when. Good day, and welcome to the Spoiled Princess. Is there something I can get for you? He doesn't know anything, no dialogue, no nothing. Hmm. Well, tell me about this inn a bit. I've always been in the tower, but never here. It was my father's idea. He ran the inn before me, and he named it for my sister. She was his little princess. Princess decided the country was too dull for her and moved to Denerim. More glamorous, she said. Well, she was found murdered, robbed of all the trinkets my father bought her with his hard-earned money. My father died of shock and heartbreak. Mother stopped eating, and I got the struggling in. The name stuck. That's a story. Oh, well. Maybe I should have something to drink? Of course. What would you like? Oh, right. Gifts? Yeah, I'm gonna pick this up. Something I want to give you? Yeah. 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 I'm mm, gonna keep this stuff, just to be sure. This can go. Uh, maybe Zevran could use a little bit of these poisons. Wow, this place is eerie. Good day. Good day, Lorana. What are you looking at? Nothing. What are you looking at? Can a man drink and piss? <sighs> well, I suppose this place would be nice for people that need to have a business in the tower, but it's really... dreary. Just a bit. Alright then. I 
I'm almost afraid to go up to Carol and ask him what's happening. Well, seeing the tower from outside of it is quite jarring. All right, Carol. What do you need now? Oh, I clicked you. You! You're not looking to get across to the tower, are you? Because I have strict orders not to let anyone pass. Carol, don't you recognize me? I need to get to the tower, really. No one gets to the tower. No one. The tower is off limits to all. Well, and uh, why would that be? Well, in any case, this is official Grey Warden business, so you have to take me. Oh, you're a Grey Warden, are you? Prove it. You don't really know the story? Prove it? Kill some darkspawn. Come on, let's see some righteous Grey Wardening. Don't be ridiculous. Aha! Oh, I knew it. I bet you can't even sense them. A real Grey Warden is supposed to be able to sense darkspawn. Maybe I can't sense any now because there aren't any here. Well, that's good, I suppose. Wouldn't want darkspawn smeared across the landscape. I hear their blood is black. Is that true? You'd know if you were a Grey Warden. It is not black, but it burns you when it touches you, all right? Oh, pleasant, eh? Good thing I don't have to kill them, then. Anyway, it was nice chatting with you. Now, on your way, right now, go! Really, Carol? Your superior won't like that you've given me trouble. Oh, really? You think Gregor would be upset with me for not letting you in? Wait, actually, he would. Good point. Exactly. He'll be very mad if you don't let me in, I suppose. He's the big guy around here. I bet he could deal with one Grey Warden. Alleged Grey Warden. Well, you want that I should take you there now? Yes. Please do. Come along, I suppose. And I want two men stationed within sight of the doors at all times. Do not open the doors without my express consent. Is that clear? Yes, sir. The doors are barred. Are they keeping people out or in? Now we wait and pray. So what is going on here? This is not normal. I don't have time to entertain visitors. Oh, come on. Well, look who's back. A proper Grey Warden now, are we? Glad you're not dead. What's happening? Why are the Great Doors barred? I shall speak plainly. The tower is no longer under our control. Abominations and demons stalk the tower's halls. We were too complacent. First Jowan, now this. Don't think I've forgotten your role in Jowan's escape. My role? Don't you remember that I was just doing what I was told to do? I suppose I cannot fault you for that. Though Irving could have done more to prevent what happened. It set a dangerous precedent. I should have been more vigilant and urged Irving to be more wary. I can only hope that someday Jowan gets what he deserves. But right now I have other pressing concerns. Indeed. How did this happen? We don't know. We saw only demons, hunting Templars and Mages alike. I realized we could not defeat them and told my men to flee. <laughs> S 
seriously, is there anything I can do to help? I have sent word to Denerim, calling for reinforcements and the right of annulment. The right of annulment? Is, is, it's that dire. The right of annulment gives Templars the authority to neutralize the Mage Circle. Yeah, I know. Complete. Genius. The Mages are probably already dead. Any abominations remaining in there must be dealt with, no matter what. This situation is dire. There is no alternative. Everything in the tower must be destroyed so it can be made safe again. <sighs> It is unfortunate, but I see that you have very little choice. No one could have survived those monstrous creatures. It is too painful to hope for survivors and find... nothing. <sighs> Why are you waiting for the right of annulment, though? Only the Grand Cleric in Denerim can authorize the annulment of the Circle. And we must wait for reinforcements. If we enter the tower now, we will be massacred. I cannot order my men to their deaths. While the door holds, we wait. Denrum must have received our message. It cannot be much longer. Well, a lot of stuff is happening in Denerim, actually. So he supposedly must have lost a lot of people, a lot of Templars, and I think Mira, Mira anxiety is spiking up because Colin is not here. There is still so much going on here that's unexplained, like, really? I too would like to know how this started. What if I investigate the tower and see what can be done? You must face and slaughter the abominations to get to the bottom of this. Are you sure you can handle them? I do have confidence in my abilities, Gregor. I always had. Ah, that arrogance hangs about you like some fell cloud, doesn't it? If you succeed, I would owe you much. Enough that I would pledge my Templars to your cause. Without word from Denerim, I must determine our course. Surely destroying Darkspawn is a worthy goal. Really? We have an agreement then? A word of caution. Once you cross that threshold, there is no turning back. The great doors must remain barred. I will open them for no one, until I have proof that it is safe. I will only believe it is over if the first enchanter stands before me and tells me it is so. If Irving has fallen, then the circle is lost and must be destroyed. May Andraste lend you her courage, whatever you decide. <sighs> 